What's going on guys and welcome to the video. My name is Eric of the Sane Lifestyle and this is the first time you tune into one of my videos. Welcome to the Sane Lifestyle. And I make videos like this every single week dedicated guys like you trying to build their dream physique. Now, a question you're probably all going to have for me. Can fitness hacks truly change your life? The short answer is yes. So if that's all you want to hear, get out the video now. But if you want me to expand a little bit more, stay on this video. Now, like I've told you, fitness can really change your life if you give it the opportunity to. It's one of the few things that's going to have massive ripple effect in everything in your life. So yeah, why wouldn't fitness hacks change your life? And these fitness hacks have also helped me along my fitness journey have actually changed me for the better. So without further ado, let's get into those fitness hacks, starting off with number one, and that is doing compound movements. I know I, you hear me talk all about this, compound movements, compound movements, compound movements, but I really do mean it. Because when I first started out in the gym, I was just focused on the isolation movements. You know, the ones like the bicep curl, like the leg curl, the leg extension, the, the ab crunch. That's really all I did. I focused primarily on the isolation movements. And it wasn't until I moved to the barbell movements or the compound movements like the bench press, the squat, the deadlift, the overhead press, the row, the shoulder press, anything like that, that my results really skyrocketed. Because those exercises recruit a ton of muscle fibers. Meaning, well, not only are they going to be hell on earth to perform, but they're also going to he they're also going to induce a huge hormone stimulus, which means your body's going to start building up a ton of muscle, and that means future gains. So, if you do want to see more progress in the gym, start doing some compound movement. The second fitness hack I had is not jumping from program to program to program. That's what I did. If a program didn't give me results in two weeks, I was out of there. But also, it's taking any program you get from like a chad online or karen online probably not your best bet the better bet is to get a program from yours truly one that's one that's customized to you and will help you get your results so instead of hopping from program to program commit yourself to one program to really begin to see those results now third one is don't rely on these supplements even though i do take supplements it's more to supplement my nutrition. So yes, even though supplements can be helpful for you to reach your fitness goals, you should not rely on them. And so you should rely more on getting quality food into your nutrition program. I'm talking about real, actual food, not supplements. Get real food into your nutrition program. Now, next hack I have is to work out in the morning. I know some of you might be saying, but oh, I'm not a morning person. Neither was I, but I still got my workout in every single morning right as the gym opened. Why did I do that? So I could get my workout done early on. And that's when I realized how much time I actually have in my day. You see, a lot of people, they, f they save their workouts until like after work, after they worked about eight, nine, 10 hours. And they're just like, oh, I don't want to do anything anymore. I just want to sit on my couch, watch Netflix, eat pizza and do all that. Well, when you work out in the morning, now it doesn't give you a sense of accomplishment going, man, I did this, make you feel good. But it's also going to clear out your workout. Now you have to, don't have to worry about your workout or, especially in the morning, one huge advantage you have is that, oh, there really is no evidence to state that fasted working out is better for you, like fat loss, than working out when you're full. There, there really is no difference. That way, once you get another big advantage is that there's really no one there early in the morning. So, any equipment you want, you're not going to have to put on a wait list, like a VIP wait list to get on. The next one you want to do is this. A foam roller. Invest in a foam roller. Myofascial release. You see a lot of people is going to the gym. They're just like pow, 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 pound the weights. They're trying to get as many results in as they can. They want to get the most results that they can possible. But they don't realize just how much damage this is doing to their body until it's way too late and they get an injury. Then they're sidelined for a while. But also when you do myofascial release, your body is going to feel so much better. So when you decide to focus a little bit more of your time on recovery and rolling out sore muscles, stretching, mobilizing, it's going to pay huge dividends. Not only are you going to feel better, but you're going to perform better and get better gains in the gym too. Now, next one I have is to change your environment. Go to a different gym. Yeah, I do mean that. The moment I went from my community rec center, which is like literally right across the street from my house, and I went to a college gym where guys in there working hard, they want to make gains, they want to do all that, versus older people that just did it more for like maintenance work. I know it's a drastic result in like the amount of energy I had to go in and work out. Like I want to go and work out, I want to lift heavy, and I want to make gains because that was the atmosphere of the gym. 
Maybe you're at like a plan fitness right now where making gains is kind of discouraged. It's more of like a training wheel gym. Well, what you can do instead is change and go to an actual gym. Yeah, you're going to have to like spend a little bit more money, but you're going to get a much better atmosphere with people who actually want to make progress. They actually want to make gains and they, they want what you want. So another big fitness hack. Now, next one I got is to have a high quality multivitamin. Now, this is one you probably don't ever think of. You probably see those store-bought multivitamins and you take them and put in your shopping cart and think about it. Well, those are mostly sugar and artificial food coloring. That, that's the truth behind it. There's really not a whole lot of vitamins to it. If you do want to get the most out of your body, out of your nutrition, since, since we don't get enough vitamins and minerals into our body that we need for a really demanding workout program, a vitamin is going to be huge. This is going to give you the needed vitamins and minerals that you need for your body to survive. Now guys, that is it for my video. Those are a few fitness hacks I have that you can start using today. So once again, guys, if you did like this video, just do what Drake is saying right here. And if not, you're not going to do any of that. Well, you're not a true saying. And if you do have any questions, let me know in my Facebook group, which is linked in the description down below. Guys, I'll see you next time. Until then, sayings. Let's get it. Is to go even further beyond. Ah!